Hey everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and I want to thank you if you joined me on my shop with me today. I took you, you with me um, all around town after I got my hair done and uh, ran into a few uh, stores, and that shop with me is linked below. But I wanted to share with you this Dollar Tree haul and then any of the other um, stuff I picked up, I'm going to do those separately. So first, let's look at the Dollar Tree. Now, I did pick up some things that I'm going to need to ship out my 1,000 subscribers giveaway. So, bubble wrap. And bubble wrap uh, at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar for one of these. And you get... Um, two yards these are 12 inches long and they're two yards so it's quite a bit of bubble wrap but um i did pick that up because i'm gonna need that for shipping and then a couple of things um stationary wise they have this cute little um coffee cup mug um it says paper clips paper clips and a coffee cup they had different colors if you saw the video you saw some of the other colors of purple and yellow, I think a blue. And I um, thought this would be a fun gift for our ladies group or just something like that. So that was cute. And then they have these cute pens. And I hadn't seen them before. These are Uniball pens, which I, I do like Pentel. Um, these say Bold Vibrant Ink. And uh, you, I think... These are all the medium, they're 0.7 millimeters, and it does not say the color of the ink, but I thought I would give it a try and see how it writes, and if we like it, and so pick those up. Then I picked up some pads just for note taking, and these would be great. You could copy, um, stain these too for your junk journals. So you get a lot there. And then just for home, I picked up these two soft soaps for a dollar. This is the wild basil and lime, and this is the peony and plum, and I did smell both of them, smell really good. You do get eight fluid ounces for these. So check those out if you're looking for soft soap. And then a quick little um, spray, hairspray by Salon Selectives, just pick that up. Okay, okay, so a couple of books that I found with this one is The Wheels on the Bus. It is a little coloring book slash sticker book um, for kids. They had Humpty Dumpty and a few others, and I thought these were really cute. And then there's some free songs on the back. They give you a code, and you can download those songs. And so I thought that was fun. I guess you can see the different books that are printed here. And so I thought that would be fun for the kids. And then this book that you might have seen on my Instagram or in the video of Shop With Me. This is something I've been looking for for a couple weeks. I heard that Dollar Tree had this book. And since I'm doing some junk journals, I just love the vintage pictures in this sewing workbook let's see if i can find some of them Here, let me okay here's some and so i thought that they would be really fun to incorporate this book is actually um just a like a journal that you would keep track of your sewing or whatever and i just have another use for it so glad to find oop glad to find oop <laughs> okay so that's one for the bloopers all right then, if you watched um, Crafty Girl, um, she has uh, some videos where she does some older ones where she did book reviews and she reviewed Red Queen, I think. And so this is one of the novels written by Victoria Aveyard, Aveyard, I'm not sure, maybe you guys know how to pronounce it, but anyway, and it's an adult coloring book based on the novel, and so I thought this was great and genius. Here are the different books that, that are out in the series, so <clears throat> anyway, this was a really neat, and I uh, thought I would share that. Then, 
I found um, some graduate things, um, some little novelty items and things, and I have a friend that's graduating this year, and um, so I'm going to send him some fun uh, 2019 graduate things. So these are bubbles with the little graduation hat on it. Even has the little tassel right there. Cute. And then the beach ball. 2019. I got two cards. I already had one, but I still not sure. These are the handmade cards that Dollar Tree does, and they're really nice quality. And so um, I'm gonna figure out which one. And then actually these 2019 numbers, I am going to use them probably for something else, but because they were so big, I thought I would go ahead and get them now while they were available. Then, if you saw the video, you saw the bags. Hold on, I'm gonna move you again. Okay, that was my tripod, tripod's fault. I didn't do it. Okay, so anyway, this cute bag, really summery, right? And it has a cute side, and the bottom even, so nice bag and then they have these big ones for independence this was just one of them and I'm going to give one away so anyway they had those and they had some others and then <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen these yet or not but these bags are cloth let me show you the cloth ones and they're like vintage or nostalgic so this one is olive oil. And do you ever see anything with olive oil? I, I just think this is adorable. And when I saw it on another um, video, I thought, I have to find those and see, because I hadn't seen them in our store. And so then Betty Boop, and she's working it, that's for sure. She is so adorable, very popular. And then Mighty Mouse, I remember Mighty Mouse growing up. Now, Mighty Mouse does have, like, a full color on him. So, Mighty Mouse. That's the first, like, cartoon with opera or something in it. Anyway, okay, that's a side note. All right, so the Wally Cows at Dollar Tree are really, really cute. Right now, they've got some new ones. So, this one says, Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. And, um, you know, I use these for planner decorations and things like that when you need a big sticker or whatever. And then this one is um, all donuts. So cute. They just look like you could eat them, right? And then this one is the uh, narwhal. This is love, and I love you, and I love I love in the sea more than all. I don't even know what it's supposed to say, but anyway. Really cute. Cute hearts in that one. And then I found some butterflies, which are beautiful. They look like watercolor butterflies. So pretty. And these are huge, I have to say. So, pick those up. Now, remember, I'm getting ready for Easter, too. So, I've got a few things. I already had some, but I did pick up a few, a few little things to go in the Easter basket. Okay, so this was buried. But this is also for my shipping. So I went ahead and picked that up. And the Dollar Tree does carry those very large um, envelopes like that. All right. So for Easter. Yep. Aren't they cute? Be cool. And they're named, you know, like Henry Hobbit. Camo. I so Easter baskets then here is a, another sugar free item for an Easter basket it's a little game you can play two or more and you guess the phrase it says one player wears the mouthpiece at a time and you draw a card and roll the dice and read the matching phrase so I guess it includes that and you would just it gives you mouthpiece care so you need to wash it 
and do not use it without washing it. So, read all capital letters. All right, so some sugary items for the Easter basket. A peanut butter filled white chocolate egg. Some jelly beans. Some Smarties, which are fat free. Okay. Then I did get some grass, Easter grass, and <clears throat> a couple of things, uh, additional sugar-free items. You know, my son is 31, right? <laughs> okay, he's probably just gonna laugh anyway. All right, they did have this cute beach ball. Well, I, you know, like I say cute, I think it's cute, but I guess it could be terrifying. I don't know, but I still think it's cute. Well, it's a shark. Anyway, I don't know. I think I think the kids would like it. All right. Then I did pick up a couple of these. These are by basket bags. When I do gift bags, I do a lot of those. And so I keep these in stock here. You get two in a package. So just a reminder, too. So that's 50 cents a piece instead of a dollar. All right. And then I picked up this one for um, Easter that has eggs on it. And I believe you get two in here. Yeah, two. And I am going to be putting together an Easter basket. And I may film that. Um, my gift basket videos are pretty popular. So I'll probably film that. And then just put them out there and give somebody an idea. Okay. All right, some more stationary things that I wanted to show you that I found. This little puffy stickers of pineapples. So cute. It says, pineapple of my eye. Cute, cute. And then they had these little journal uh, and sticky notes. So let me show you what they had. They have this one. It says, make today amazing. I just think those are cute. So it's a mini journal and two little sticky notepads. So this one is with the toucan and the pineapple and the flower, really tropical. And then I got this one that is a cupcake. I mean, yeah, a cupcake and a donut and a sweet. They did have one more, it was a mermaid one. Um, I was trying to really control myself, but now you know that's almost impossible. So anyway, here is a little letter pack I have not seen before. And inside it, you get four, two cards, four letters, and six envelopes. And it comes in this nifty little pack. And I'll just show you, and everything can go back in it. So here's a card. So stay sharp you get two of those and then you get your little letter notepad notes and then you get your envelope oh look that's the lines how cute is that so anyway I got that one which is adorable and I think that's a great gift you know if you know just a little something and I think we all need to stay in touch and sometimes it's nice to actually get a mailed letter i like to get mail and i know kids do so anyway it comes like this and then the other one says wow and it's got the purples and the pinks and the blues so i got two of those and then i don't know if i've seen these i probably have but i keep these kind of bags on hand too for little gift items or if I need to package something up and make it look special, I keep these types of things on hand. And then I saw another new thing at the Dollar Tree. I had seen the pineapple and I had seen some flowers, but this one is a solar uh, light hummingbird. So I'm gonna get these out. It comes with the steak. And I'm gonna get these put out in my yard and let them um, soak up the light and then Maybe I can film that so you guys can see how bright they are or not bright. And then they also put out a bunch of new bottles and I hadn't seen them. As a matter of fact, the bottles were scarce around Valentine's Day because I was looking for clear ones and I was doing a banquet 
and I uh, couldn't find very many, but now I put a picture in my shop with me of these bottles, and this one is just beautiful. And then you can put those lights in here and just let it light up. And then this one is like an old milk bottle. So anyway, all right, well, thank you for watching. That is my haul from Dollar Tree. And um, watch for the other videos. There'll be a Tuesday morning, uh, a vintage book haul, and um, a quick little haul from Hobby Lobby. I may combine it with the Tuesday morning. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and don't forget to enter my giveaway. My 1,000 subscriber giveaway is open until next Friday, April 26th. And please share my channel with your friends if they like crafts and hauls and that kind of thing. And um, enter the giveaway. So thanks for watching and until next time, I hope I've inspired you in some way.